Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review. So, for this particular review, I wanted to share a way to easily create long screenshots um, so you can share multiple things or multiple screenshots as one long uh, image. So, let's say you're in a conversation and you want to send the whole thing or let's say you're reading an article and you just want to cut out the part a part of the article that is um, of interest but it's too long for your screen or you might be on a smartphone versus a tablet so it doesn't necessarily fit but you still want to share it that's where the app Stitchcraft comes in so this is an android app is available for free with ads or uh, paid with no ads for 99 cents so if it's something you like then definitely it's definitely helpful to support the developer so let's jump right into it so um, opening up Stitchcraft, Stitchcrafts, it um, has a pretty material UI, material design UI. So you have your um, start button at the bottom right. You have your menu button for your library um, preferences. So where you want to save your um, merged files. If you want to keep the original files, um, sharing the app itself, sending feedback and that sort of thing. So uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy to use, and very little learning curve. So <clears throat> with that, I'll jump right into it. So let's say um, I open up uh, Instapaper. I want to share this portion of the Sith workout that I was reading. So I want to, let's say I want to share from um, the top here. So I'll take a screenshot of this uh, first part and I'll hide away the menu options. Um, the one tip to know is that um, in order to merge properly, you'll need to make sure that the, the bottom part of your first image and the top part of your next image um, match up a little bit so that um, Stitch Crafts has enough to merge them properly. So in this case, I'll um, scroll this up a little bit and I'll merge this part. So same thing here. Um, I'll take a screenshot, hide away the um, overflow. So um, now I have two screenshots. And so what I'll do now is I'll go back into the app. Um, you can do an automatic merge or a manual merge. So in this case, I'll just do automatic. Um, I'll add the two files I, that I want to, or images that I want to merge. You'll see a progress bar, and then you can see by scrolling up that the, this is kind of where they're going to merge the files. You'll hit the save button and it'll give you a little notification that it's saved. You can hit view or you can go back to your image and you now have a stitched image. So what this does, it'll or from here, it'll also save the image to your gallery. So um, I can go into the Stitchcraft folder, it's its own uh, folder, and you'll see that it's one long image and I can um, scroll as if it was uh, one image rather than two and you can do this for up to 15 images at a time so if it's a long conversation or a long article or you just want to have one um, image to do it all so it's going to get smaller and smaller but if you um, have multiple images that you want to compose then this is definitely the way to go and then from the app you can share it to other apps or from your gallery you can share it from there but it is saved into your gallery so um, you have that back up there and then if you back up with Google Photos or Dropbox you can add that folder and have that back up there as well. Um, so this is also good in addition to messages or articles. You can also do it for receipts. So if you're just doing screenshots you can take your two, few screenshots as many as you need to um, do that and merge them together so you have them all together. So that's actually all there is for that. It's a really simple easy to use app and definitely worth checking out. Um, I heard about it recently and wasn't too sure if I would continue to use it, but I decided to give it an install and check it out, and it does seem to be worth um, whether you um, use it for the free version or the ad-free 99 cent version. Um, it is definitely an app to uh, check out and use. So that is actually all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, or anything like that, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.